And so if you're female, it's even it's like a third or less. And it's not a lot. I mean, the deck of cards is pretty small. It's like two ounces. And you got to keep in mind, some people are like, how the heck do I get my protein? So the goal of today isn't obviously to make you feel guilty or be like, oh, I can't drink plastic bottles, I can't do this, I can't, I can't do anything. Because when we say I can't do anything, it really is coming from a position. It's almost like when I hear people say like, oh, I can't eat this, I can't eat that, what do I do, Lance? It's For me, it reminds me of when I first started and it's like, you know, there's like, a, when a pig rolls in mud, it loves it. It knows nothing better, right? But when when you realize, but it's limited, it's, you know, it's, you know, short, small space, getting dirty all the time. But what I'm saying is, what if there was a stadium full of people cheering and awesome place where you can score touchdowns all day and, and feel great and run and you know do everything, which, but I just want to roll around and flock, frolic in mud all day. But, I, but, but it feels like I'm saying, don't play in the mud. But I'm, what I'm really saying is, look at that stadium. That, look at that new Raider Stadium over there. Much to go and say, there there's so much more that you could do, and you could feel amazing. But if you want to continue to roll in the mud yeah. and feel like I'm telling you you can't roll in the mud, it's just, it's just Okay, you can feel that way, but that's not what it is. I'm, I'm stadium, stadium of awesome over here. Just I'm just, you know, I'll walk along. I'll walk with you. You know, we'll we'll do it together. Or you know, and that is equal to like social media conversations, coaching yeah. programs. Right. Blah, 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 so. Did you see yourself when you were transforming more so um, where health wise? Yeah, health wise or eating wise or that, that it was more like you know, let's say somebody wanted to get away from eating burgers, getting away from this and that, but at the same time, back to the 80-20 rule. So 80% go the green, you know, on point, working out, but then maybe the 20% little, the cheat days, the whatever days. I don't know, you know, yeah. what's the magic formula, you think? The formula, the formula that I recommend, um, all meat is acidic, mm -hmm. could have parasites in it, okay. heavy metal or uh, mercury toxicity, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Um, and then you lose a lot of the protein with cooking it as well, it's mostly fat. So, yeah. so um, that's just some things. <laughs> that's just like, but um, to answer your question, 95 eating 95 percent or more plant uh, or more of plant based as a percent of your caloric intake is ideal according to China study to re dramatically reduce your risk of heart disease, cancer, and autoimmune disease. I watched a documentary on Netflix. There was this dude that was jacked. I mean, he was ripped, muscles popping out everywhere. Steroid man. Maybe, but what he also <laughs> but what he also had was type two diabetes, oh, and you were, wow. and you were, and when I saw that I was like, well, wait a minute, he's I mean he's ripped whether he's using steroids or not. He has type two diabetes, which is normally associated with people that are obese or right. fat, right? Well, obesity is a canary in the coal mine, but is not a guarantee mm -hmm. for a lot of these diseases. And the reason why he has type two diabetes is because it has nothing to do with his weight or other things like that, which what the health actually interviews the, the head of American Diabetes Association and they get really defensive on this topic but it has to do with what you're eating and so what happens is your red blood cells have little insulin receptors on them and insulin receptors are the little the little um, we'll call it gatekeeper so when you eat when I eat something sugary my body my pancreas releases insulin it goes into those little keys and my cells open up and the sugar goes in great awesome when I'm healthy but when free radical damage or you know, from sunlight, from smoking, from radiation, from processed foods, from fried foods, from high heat treated meat, from you know, I can keep going. Infection, breathing causes damage to our red blood cells. We have 70 to 90 billion of those, and so what happens is they get damaged. Those little, it's like if somebody went and went to all the houses around the block and banged out all the front door, like the where you put the key in, so nobody could put a key in. And so they're like, well, we can't get in, so let's roam the streets and start flipping over cars. And, and so that's what's happening in the body is we don't have a way to let the sugar in because everything, all those insulin receptors getting damaged. Mm. But nowhere do they mention anything about insulin receptors on American Diabetes Association or anything like that. But that is the root cause. That is the root cause of type 2 diabetes. Insulin receptor damage from free radicals and oxidative stress. That's it. You want to cure type 2 diabetes? you have to cure what is causing the free radical and oxidative stress damage to those insulin receptors. But that bodybuilder dude, he was just like, whey protein shakes, meat, workout, gym, tan, laundry, whatever. You know, like that, that's his focus, right? And so, but he doesn't have that information, and you know, that's it. So, and every disease has something like that. Like if you look at heart disease, and you look at cancer, and you know, you just keep breaking it down. So to answer your question, 
95% or more plant bases are going to dramatically reduce the risk of heart disease, cancer, and autoimmune diseases. And then if you want to eat 60 to 80% raw plant foods of that percentage. And then, um, and then watch what the health. That's the first, that's like the first step. And then there's other documentaries that I have on my, one of my Instagram channels as well, Tropical Smoothie Guy. I just listed all the top 20 documentaries. So you can get a college level education on how you can balance hormones, have better energy, have better digestion, reduce your disease risk, reduce your cancer risk by watching all these documentaries. I watch them all twice. I'm working on my third time on them. Because I want to be so well versed that when somebody asks a question about, man, what about type 2 diabetes and that? I either have an answer, I can be like, oh, it was in that one documentary. You know, let me go text you or email you that. And so, because sometimes those doctors or you know nutritionists can say it way better than I can. And I'll you know bow bow the head and you know bend the knee. I'll be like, you guys can say it better. You guys are more qualified. You know, but um, those documentaries really break it down really easy, Big Bird Barney style, without insulting your intelligence. They're just like, here is what causes it. Now you have a choice. Do you want to continue to do what you're doing? and suffer consequences later down the road, or do you want to be proactive and not end up like a bodybuilder who has type 2 diabetes, but is not fat? That's just one example. I mean, it could be cancer, it could be, you know, I mean, because they don't ever look at the inside of your arteries and say, wow, you're jacked and ripped, but what about the inside of your arteries? How, how much plaque is building up in there? They don't ever have that in conversations with keto, diet, and paleo. They're just like, hey, keto, paleo, way to go, right? But what about the lining of your arteries? How much is building up with plaque? Because that's what was happening to my mom. It was building up with plaque, so her arteries were supposed to look, look like this, and now her arteries look like this. Yeah. How much harder is it going to be to pump blood through this versus this? So her blood pressure goes up, and her cholesterol levels can go up. And they're not always, I mean, they, some people may have cholesterol, but not high blood pressure, and some may have one or the other. But still, this is what her arteries are starting to look like. And erectile dysfunction is a canary in the coal mine for heart disease as well. And the reason is because the the vein that goes down there is about the width of a coffee straw, whereas most other veins in the body are the width of a like a straw that you would drink something out of, like, like a regular straw. And so if that little vein down there is getting clogged, and it's such a small one, and it's hard to get it up, then that means other veins are getting clogged, but it hasn't affected as much because they're wider or they're thicker or they're bigger. Mm -hmm. And so erectile dysfunction when I see when I pass in Las Vegas and I see billboards and they're like you got ED you know call me or something you know something like that I'm like and I was like you got ED you need to eat whole foods and not call you and you know and figure out the root cause you know what I'm saying what's that because you're giving me pills yeah what they do is they 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 give you stuff that either thins your blood so that if you have thinner blood it can go through a hole like that better which is unhealthy would that yeah. be ginger you take ginger to thin Oh, blood? they're not recommending ginger. They're recommending medications that thin your blood and uh, make it like water, like <clears throat> aspirin does that too. Ginger does that? Um, Use it or help it, supplementary. Plant-based fiber and not eating the foods that contribute to cholesterol and plaque buildup is what cures it. Ginger, she's good for it. At least five, <laughs> if you eat five percent or less of uh, your your caloric intake per day of meat would help with that. So what that looks like from a practical scale, so if you, like a deck of cards is, like so if, if a male needs 2,500 calories a day and you you need 5% or less of those to be, those calories come from meat per day. So if you, I kind of calculated and broke it all down, it's less than a half a deck of cards of meat per day. Meat, dairy, eggs, fish. Less than half a deck of cards. And so if you're a female, it's even it's like a third or less. And it's not a lot. I mean, the deck of cards is pretty small. It's like two ounces. And you got to keep in mind, some people are like, how the heck do I get my protein? Remember, amino acids and everything. And number two, my mom who grew up in Korea, meat, like red meat, rare, once or twice a year, special occasions. Fish, maybe once a week. What she ate was kimchi, beans, and rice. That's it. Kimchi is spicy pickles, if you yeah. just want to think of it that way, right? So, and they didn't have a refrigerator, so they stored stuff in the ground and let it not rot, but ferment. So there's probiotics in there. They didn't have Big Macs, they didn't have hamburgers. She rarely ate meat. When it was, it was fish. Once, maybe twice a week with the fish. Red meat, once or twice a year. They didn't have heart disease. They didn't have the types of cancers we have. Breast cancer, mm -hmm. prostate, colon, no. So. You want to, you want to, um, you know, 
change the score, break the cycle. You've got to understand what causes this stuff. That's a hard line, though. What's that? No meat? Yeah. That's what did you think, though? Years. Remember? Think, remember, so pig rolling, remember pig rolling around in mud. Oh, I love it. It's, it's just, this life is amazing. But I'm a pig in mud. There's, there's a whole Raiders stadium where you can frolic and score touchdowns all day. I'll let you know. All it right. starts with education. Thanksgiving, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs>